Look at that, we have some Roosevelt elk here. Hey guys, we're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and today we're gonna be checking out everything that is happening in Leighton Lakes since the update. And let me tell you guys, everything has changed. Everything has a new zone time, new drink times, and new hotspots. So we're gonna try and check out every single species. I'm gonna share with you the new drink times and basically where you can hunt them here in Leighton Lakes. Now, if you do enjoy the video, guys, go ahead and hit that like button. You guys are awesome. We're gonna head straight into it. And definitely let me know in the comments how excited you are for these changes in Leighton Lakes. Look All right, so Roosevelt Elk have a new drink time and they now drink in Leighton from 4 or 4.30 until 8 or 8.30. Whitetail have changed too, guys. They drink drink in the morning now. Whitetail drink from 8 until 12 or 12.30, so they actually have the same drink time on all of the maps now, I believe, which I think is very good to be consistent. It really helps us to remember when they drink, when they have the same time on every single map, because we actually have four different maps for Whitetail now. Let's actually take a Roosevelt Elk, but he might be the nicest three. Let's take him. That wasn't the 300, was it? It was actually the 303, and it does get integrity, but it is going to take... Uh, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not! So one thing I wanted to show you guys is, look at this. My Leighton has not a single zone on it, and this map in particular was just littered with zones. Because I did my whitetail grind in Leighton for quite a while a year ago, and I had more zones on this map than I had on any other map, and it's fascinating to see that it is completely naked, basically. So we are going to have to discover all new zones for everything in Leighton Lakes. So we're actually going to head up to the Calburn River and see if we still have Roosevelt Elk drinking on the river because this has definitely been a hot spot for us in the past. Okay guys, look at this herd of Roosevelt Elk. That is a pretty nice herd and I have been running the Calburn River and all of these drink zones are Roosevelt Elk. So they are definitely lots of Roosevelt Elk on the river since the update. So that is one place you will find a pile of them. Now, some of the herds here are all female. That is gonna happen, but definitely not all of them. Okay, we just discovered a couple of feed zones. So we have black bears. So you're gonna see them feeding from four until eight or 8.30. So you may see black bears while you are hunting Roosevelt elk in their drink zone and also black-tailed deer feed at the same time. So you may see them as well. We just have to figure out when blacktail actually drink. I love how you can see the animals feeding while you are hunting animals that are drinking. We're actually gonna be seeing more animals this way. All right, well, it is our destiny to kill at least one elk since we were like epically failed on the last one. <laughs> Would you like to die? Oh, you're gonna give us a better angle. That's delightful. Awesome, he dead. Okay, and here is our elk, and don't they look beautiful in the new scorecard? I love elk, actually. I love their racks. They're so cool. Beautiful. Okay, guys, so I have been running the Calburn River here, and we have blacktail drinking, and they definitely have a new drink time. So they now drink here in Leighton from 1600 or 1630 until 20 or 2030. So they will partly be drinking in the dark. Now what I've been finding running along the Calburn River is I am finding zones, but most of these zones are single females. That is the first blacktail buck that I have seen. So we're gonna look around and see where they're keeping all of the bucks because it is not on the Calburn River so far. So basically what they've done in Leighton here is they have something drinking at every time all around the clock. So that if you do go to a multiplayer, you will always have something to hunt. Something will always be drinking. Now, I don't know if jackrabbits still drink. They probably don't anymore, but we will try to figure that out as well. Splat, he dead. I know blacktail are one of the most popular things to hunt here in Leighton. Moose and whitetail, I would say, might beat them, but it, it all very much depends. And there we have ducks. On the shore, holy, look at that. That is awesome. And that is actually mallards resting. So you may see them on the shore there. And that rest zone is from 19 or 1930 until zero, which is midnight. Don't they look great in the new scorecard? They look beautiful. And that is our first black tail. And it actually is a gold level three. So yeah, all of those are black tail zones, but that's the first buck we've seen. We're gonna travel down to this corner. 
I have to say, it is pretty cool and very strange to be seeing mallards on the shore here, on the land, as I'm running the Calburn River, but that is a new reality since the update. Looks pretty cool, right? Okay, guys, we found a nice big herd of blacktail here, and this is still on the Calburn River, so it is not only females that you will find up here, so that is a good thing. So here is the zone, and this is where we are right here. So you will find some blacktail bucks on the Calburn River. Okay, I have found some blacktail bucks, and they are drinking in the reeds here. I just got a warning call, and I saw a blacktail buck pop his head up. So we're in the Belmont Swamplands right now. Okay, so look at that guys. We have whitetail feeding, moose feeding, and blacktail drinking all at the same time. So moose and whitetail feed from 16 until 20 or 20, 30, the exact same time that blacktail are drinking. So you're probably gonna find all three species when you're hunting blacktail in their drink time. And that is good news. I like that, that's awesome. This is where we are here in the Belmont Swamplands. So still have moose here, whitetail and blacktail in this area. Okay guys, we are in the Belmont Swamplands and this is my third drink zone that I have found for whitetail. So they are definitely throughout the Swamplands still. This is where we are right up here. So that's another drink zone, another one right there. And I have not run the entire thing. So definitely check all of the Swamplands for whitetail deer. Okay guys, so I am now in the bottom left-hand corner in Renaki and we do have pretty nice big herd of whitetail here. So since the update guys, I understand that whitetail are no longer going to be found on the right side of the map. They're not at any of these little lakes anymore. You will find zones all the way down the river on the lakes on the left and in the Belmont Swamplands and I think they go to about here and that's it. So finding whitetail zones should be a lot easier since this last update of June 28th. So let me know in the comments how many zones you find on Layton and if it is taking you less time than it used to. Okay guys, so I just actually fast traveled to the Willapeg outpost and I have not even moved hardly at all. There's a really nice moose and I have found three drink zones for moose right here. So lots of moose in this area. We are definitely going to head and run down this river a little bit and see if we still have moose in this area, but I have a feeling that we do. We're finding some really nice big moose, that is for sure, that is a nice one. Okay, we found a seriously crazy spot for moose here. Oh, there's a five medium! <laughs> well, okay! We really did. Look at this big boy. We have two max weights and that is a five. Holy, he looks like an absolute monster. I just can't believe that is standing there. This is where we are. So what I actually found guys, all moose here. I found a moose zone there and then I didn't find any until I got down to here. Now, sometimes you have to pass through a few times to find all the zones and there's a moose zone and this is the crazy zone right here with the level five in it. Well, we're just gonna have to kill him, aren't we? We definitely are. And that's one of the really beautiful things about hunting on freshly reset maps, guys, is that everybody's maps are going to have trophies on them since they were updated. Look at the paddles on this guy. He is a, he only goes up to 280, so he can't be a huge, huge diamond, but I'm gonna guess he's gonna score near the top because he seriously does not look like a troll to me. He could be. I will cry a little if he is, but I really don't think he is. And he is down, yes! Sweet! All right, let's have a look at this beauty. Oh, he is, oh, too far. <laughs> oh, he is beautiful, holy. He oh my gosh, are you kidding? He is a troll. 274.3 and 274.99 is diamond. That is not nice. What a stunning moose. Look at the size of this guy. I cannot believe it. That is insane. I feel a little bit ripped off right now. Do you feel bad for me? Let me know in the comments. I feel bad for me. <laughs> oh well, what are you gonna do? At least we took a really nice shot. I would feel worse if you made it and I were to mess it up, but definitely do some moose hunting in Layton. You may find yourself a monster. And this is where we found him. So, so far I'm finding moose definitely up here. You wanna go, I would imagine they're all the way down the river. I have not run it yet, but they are definitely in the swamplands here. 
Okay, we have found our first black bear and we are on the Calburn River. It's just a female, I'm gonna let her go. So they drink here in Layton from 20 or 2030 until zero or zero 30. And I believe that's what time all bears drink on all reserves since the update. Grizzlies included. So grizzly bears in Yukon Valley drink in the dark now. And I know some people, a lot of people are not happy about that, but I am definitely used to hunting bears in the dark. But that is why I'm doing my black bear grind in Silver Ridge Peaks. I've had enough of the dark. <laughs> Let's hunt in the daylight if we can. Okay guys, so we're now down in the bottom left hand corner in Renaki. And this used to be the very best place for black bears a couple updates ago. We do have black bears here. I have found two zones so far. I'm hoping more will pop out here, but definitely this is one spot you can check for drinking black bears if you are doing your black bear grind here in Leighton Lakes. Now I will figure out all the spots for black bears and I will put out a separate guide for black bears here in Leighton Lakes. Definitely check right here. Okay guys, we found some drinking coyotes and look at this pack of coyotes. Look at all of them. Unfortunately, they are mostly female, but that is a lot of coyotes. So we are down here in Renaki. This is where they are. Coyotes drink from zero until four or 4.30 and that makes something drinking completely around the clock in Leighton Lakes. So if you go to any multiplayer server in Leighton, there will always be something drinking. So basically, this is how it works, guys. We have elk from 4 till 8 or 8.30, whitetail from 8 till 12 or 12.30, moose from 12 till 16 or 16.30, blacktail from 16 till 20 or 20.30, black bears from 20 until 0 or 0.30, and coyotes from 0 until 4 or 4.30. I haven't seen any jackrabbits drinking, so I'm going to assume they don't drink anymore. I don't know that for sure, but that is what I would assume. I actually had a hard time finding coyotes. I went all over the place and finally we did find some, so that is awesome. So basically, that'll help you to get around in Leighton. Since the update, guys, I will do a new super guide. It will take me some time to figure out where all the best hotspots are for every single species. I have a lot of research to do. But that's gonna wrap it up for this one, guys. I really hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, smash that like button and we will definitely see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys. If you guys would like to get started with the best spots to hunt in Revontuli Coast, click on this starter guide right here. Take care, guys.